before you make the decision to let someone go, you're going to have done all of the right things. I'm assuming you've already tried retraining, looking for a position that would be a better fit for them, figuring out your own part in the, their performance, uh, getting obstacles out of the way for them. But sometimes you're still going to have to separate with some people. And unfortunately, I've had to have this conversation many times. It's not fun, but there is one thing that can make a real difference. You have to give a darn. I remember once I, I just completed the really outstanding Arbinger training on leadership and self-deception. And I had one of those conversations coming up with a nurse manager. I, I was actually really excited to try what I just learned. I completely and utterly failed. I, I told her all the right things, how much we wanted her to be happy and didn't see that happening here. And I was doing that hard behavior, but still speaking to her as a person that I respected and that I cared about. She saw right through it. It wasn't genuine and she let me know right away. So I stopped, I told her she was right. Um, I apologized for using management speak. Um, how could I have done it right? Well, you, you have to mean it. A few months later, I had to fire what was probably the worst receptionist of all time. And she was 18 years old. She'd been hired a few months earlier. The telephone was just this technology that she struggled to grasp. It, it was way past time to make this change. Now, before I spoke with her, I took some time to think about all of the times that I'd failed or been in the wrong position and just not been a good fit somewhere. When I called her in my office, I know that she was scared that the inevitable was finally going to come. And instead, we spent three hours talking about what she wanted to do with her life, her goals, her aspirations. It took a little while, but she started to open up and she got really excited telling me about how she was learning to cut hair and that she had a goal one day she really wanted to go to beauty school. So we looked up some of the local schools. We made a few calls together and found out that she could be accepted to a nearby beauty school and even have a partial scholarship for the work. I mean, she was just so excited. And then she suddenly stopped and said, oh no, with classes in the morning, how am I gonna be able to do my job here? I said, well, I don't think you're gonna to need to worry about that. And that's when she asked me, are you firing me? When I said yes, she <laughs> ran over and gave me a hug and thanked me. Now those conversations rarely go that way. Um, people are hurt and they're scared and they may need some time to process. But if you don't really genuinely care about them, they're going to know it. No matter what management training you've had or how fancy the words are you use. But if you genuinely think about that person and care about them as a person, not as an employee, not as an asset or a tool or a problem, basically an object. If you genuinely care about them, if you can do that, then you'll help them get to where they need to. 